Welcome back to the educators. It's our best friends. They take over as we are getting to know each other a little bit more. Let's get right back to some more edge chat, shall we, y'all? Is it ever okay to lie? Well, according to Cora.com, Cora from a D. Okay. According to Cora.com, um, if you are lying to make someone feel better, the answer is yes. Okay. For an example, if you're at a dinner party, Okay. And the host and the host asks you, how are you enjoying your bland food? Okay. Is it ever okay to is it, is it okay to tell them that you think it's delicious? Or if your man is in the mood for some loving, but you're not really feeling him at the moment, just say that you got a really bad stomach ache and you gotta make you got to make time to go to sleep. So do you guys ever think that it's okay to tell, to lie to your best friend about, to make them feel better? No, I don't think it's okay to lie. I feel like if you want honesty to be, I'm saying like, I'm, I'm just generally just saying, if you want honesty, be honest with them. You know what I mean? I mean, because if you're in a close spot, as in a, as in a relationship, it's in a friendship, if you're in a close spot to be close to somebody, you're going to have to be upfront with them and be like, hey, low key, Blase, blase, blase. They will understand. But be comforting to your friend right out there. That's my thing. Because number one, I, I don't want you to be sitting here, you know, you know, hippy and mad and all of that over something that can easily be solved with loving of honesty. And then even if you lie to them, then a couple of days later, you're going to realize they lied and that you're going to feel a little bit of heat because why lie to me when you could have told me? Like I'm the person that I um <clears throat> I would say honesty. Like you would please be honest with me and I'll understand. Cause I'm not really a person that's gonna sit here and hustle and tussle and fuss about things little. You know what I mean? Let's be honest. It's not okay to lie to your friends. It's not. It, it's not okay. But mm, I'm gonna put myself out here, am I? You guys, Ed Fam. <clears throat> Mr. Yeah. Anderson lies to us all the time. That's what he's about to say. Oh, yeah. Isn't that wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. What, what is it? You lied yeah, to us. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. They, they, well, they know this I, now. We know. They know this now. We know. That, <laughs> um, I lied to them. Well, we've been to that. Most we do that. of the time. We know. It's almost. They mean, daily. Leo? It's almost Leo. daily because I try Leo. to get out of things whoa, whoa, that wait a I don't hey, want Leo. to do. Cleo, Cleo, Cleo. I ain't gonna lie to you, Cleo. Keep calling you Cleo. I ain't gonna lie to you. But Cleo. You're not a good liar. Like we know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. Yes, I am. No, <laughs> no, 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 sir. Yes, I am. No, when we when me and Brian meet up, when Brian and I meet up after we asked you to join production. And we join. We like. We know he's lying because you know he's not the liar. You are not a good liar. Like yes, if I you am. want to lie, you gotta lie good. Like you have to have a a good situation. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I lied. You know about certain things <laughs> about production. You, you, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just this thing that you know. You know, we're not. You know. You know. Pathological liars, you know, pathological liars. You know, we're not, but well, we just, we just do little white lies. We do white lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes. We do yeah. white lies. Yeah, but then we know you lie to us. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's you pretty lie. You know, you're yeah. like, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm sleepy. I got a hand. <laughs> and actually, guys, most exhausted. of those, some of those are From actually kids. true. Some of those are actually true that I am not the exhausted. I am tired. Yeah, not I the am. hangover. He came okay, in. Guys, okay. He came into work hungover. Hungover. Literally, he said, like, "I got a hangover." Puffy. I'm like, "Are you? I'm like, how you got a hangover? You ain't drink." And his eyes were puffy. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the time, he's like, "At the time, he's like, I'm in the bed." And he's really sitting there watching TV. The real. Um, the real. but I want to say <laughs> that is it over okay to lie to a friend? I feel like. No, in certain situations. I mean, we're talking about making them feel better here. I will lie to you to make you get out my face. That's what I'm going to do. Because on certain situations, though, like if you come up to me, 
taste this food, TJ. Does it taste good? I'm be like, mm-hmm. It, it's good, you know. It's good, you know. That's mm-hmm. certain lies that I'm gonna tell because if your food is because if you're confident in making that food, then why have me destroy that, you know, that that dream for you, that image for you, that dream for you. Like if you want to be a chef, you know, you want me to try your food. I'm gonna lie. If it's plain, it got no seasoning. You know, I'm yeah. gonna tell you if you got no seasoning. Yeah, yeah. You need some salt, pepper, some Creole seasoning, some uh, garlic powder, seasoned salt. The seasoned salt. The seasoned salt. You know, you need all that to to you know put in there. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, okay.